so ring counter we are looking at the ring counter and we will be trying to understand what is ring counter ring counter it's a variety of counter of course which we can build it from the shift register itself of course so this can be designed in two ways one is by using shift register the other possibility is number two is counter and decoder Let's look at the shift register part. How exactly it looks like, and what exactly the intention of this circuit? This cell, this ring counter, is responsible for generating various control signals. Okay. Now what we try to do is we look at the circuit. This is one flip flop. This is another flip flop. Now I am taking a four bit shift register. For which there is a common clock. Clock being come. Okay. So here is also clock come. right now there is a input d all are d flip flops output is q q bar q is connected over here this is d this is q this is q bar this is d this is q this is q bar this is d this is q this is q bar Now, if you look at its functionality, how exactly the circuit look like? It will be like this. So the D input is connected from the last flip flop output. Output of one flip flop is connected to the next output of flip flop. Output of this. So let's say this is flip flop A. A output is connected to B. B output is connected to C. C output is connected to D. And D out is connected to A. So, what exactly formed? A ring is formed because of which it is called ring count. Okay. In such ring counters, what exactly we try to do is at any instant of time we load one into the register. This here it is a four bit register. So, what we try to do is for this. There is a preset here. I am writing in short P preset. For all presets, what we do is we will connect it to one. What is going to happen if I connect it to one? When I connect it to one, the normal D flip flop is going to function. Let's take all clears. Not being shown here, but we can show it clearly. There is a clear. There is a clear. There is a clear. These are all our active loop. For which we will connect it one input input one. What is the meaning that I don't want to clear anything? Okay. Here also these three I don't want to touch. I have to set them to one. But here it is separate. I can give it to zero once. Then I will make it as one. First I will make it zero. Followed by, I will make it one. When I make it zero, this flip flop will be loaded with one. This is with zero. This will be zero. This will be zero. Why? Normal functionality. Nothing is being given. One is loaded into it. By default, they will be zeros. Even if you want to ensure that everything, every okay, all are zeros. First, before giving p is equal to zero. You make clear is equal to zero. Then you make clear is equal to one. 
then you make preset is equal to 0 then followed by 1. So, that we will ensure that the data in this is 1, 0, 0, 0. Right. Once this is being done, now what exactly I can do is I can go on give the clock pulses. For every positive edge clock pulse, what exactly happens is whatever is there in this flip flop will go into the next flip flop. What is there in the next flip flop will go into the next flip flop. What is there in this flip flop will go into the next flip flop. What is there in this flip flop where it will come? It will come, it will loop through through the ring it will come to very first flip flop. Whatever is there in the last flip flop okay, will come to the very first flip flop. This is how the ring formation because of the circuit diagram. Now, let us suppose 1 0 0 0 is loaded, 1 clock pulse is given to it, then what exactly happens is this will be this 0 will come to the front, this will come to the front, then what about this? This will go here, this will go here, this will go here. So, this will be 1 0 0. Next what is going to happen? Once again same, once again if at all you give the clock pulse, then what exactly happens? 0 0 1 0, right. Then if once again I give the clock pulse, 0 0 0 1. Once again I give the clock pulse, what exactly happens? 1 0 0 0. What happened? From where I have started to there I have reached. From wherever I have started to there I have reached. That means it cycles through. Now, if you draw the diagram timing wafer, what exactly? This is clock signal. Clock is running. This is what exactly known as running clock. For this clock, what I should look for? Pass to edge triggers. What is pass to edges? Wherever it is going from 1, 0 to 1 is called pass to edge. So, here is a pass to edge, here it is a pass to edge, here it is a pass to edge, here it is a pass to edge, right? Here it is a pass to edge. Here it is a pass to edge, here it is a pass to edge, here it is a pass to edge. Now, initially the input is initially all flip flops are 0, but what exactly happens? Now, with respect to D flip flop, D1, I am drawing the flip flop A content. A will be 1 for first clock pulse, then what exactly it is going to be? What about the rest of the flip flops? They are all zeros, right? So, it is A, content of A will be 1, content of A will be 1. So, let us represent like this. Let us say this is A, this is B, this is C and D. Now, you observe this 1 0 0 1. So, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3 zeros followed by 1, then next 3 zeros. What about B? If you look at the B, it will be 0, then followed by 1, then followed by 0, 0, 0, then followed by 1, then 0. What about C? C here 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So, 0, it will be earlier it was 0, from here it is 0, once again 0. Then from here it will be 1, okay. then it will be 0, then it will become 1. Similarly, you can look at D, D will be like this, D, this will be 0, then it will be 1, then it will be 0, 
then okay now what exactly you can see if you observe up to here now you can see at any instant of time only one being one that means either a may be one or b may be one or c may be one or d may be one okay so these are all are known as control signals control signals these are the various control signals we have generated we have generated using ring counter okay with this i'll stop here.